I'm Efe from BakingWithEfe.com and today we're going to be making a fluffy rainbow cake. Remember our voting poll over the weekend? Here we are today making that rainbow cake and we hope it's going to be something that you can make yourself at home. That's, this is the whole purpose of the tutorial. So I've got my two helpers today. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, we're nice and cheery today. Okay, so we're going to get started to sweet. Now, a rainbow cake is one of those cakes that you find it's because of the delightful blossom of colors. You find that it's a cake that is so appropriate for any and every celebration. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to get started. But I want to show you a, a quick tip. Very quickly. Now, I've got my pans um, already buttered and floured. This is a piece of parchment paper, which I always find very difficult to get that perfect circle. So I'm going to give you a little tip today. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to make sure you go by the basic principle of folding this into half. And then we want to make two triangles. Two right triangles? Here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now that looks like a sailor's hat. Triangle. Then we're going to fold that again. I see triangle. Just like that. Okay, yes. so there's my pan. Yes. So, what you want to do is to get the middle and cut it. And cut it right. Okay, so that's my middle, and I'm going to cut it right here. So, stay with me. Okay, give that a nice, even. Hey, cut. And we're left with that, which that's looks like a mini pipe bag. That's a triangle. See a triangle here. Exactly. So, here we are. And that's this is the right. On the bottom of your pan. So I said it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, that's a circle. It just gives you a nice guide. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're gonna get started. Okay, circle. right. So basically when you're making a rainbow cake, all you need to understand is you can use the recipe of your favorite sponge cake. The colours is more or less you defining your colours. So I'm gonna make my favorite sponge, which happens to be the orange cake. So I've got my butter and my sugar here i've just dumped everything in and i'm using a 600 grams measure so we're making a quick sponge i've got 600 grams of butter, butter. and 600 grams of sugar, sugar. which we're going to whisk quickly so i'm going to whisk this for about five minutes it. until it gets nice pale and fluffy that's what we're looking for and mix it. okay so this is nice pale and fluffy this is exactly what we're aiming for Right, so what next goes in? Eggs. Good, eggs. So here I've got seven eggs and I'm going to add this one, two, one three, after the four, other. Five. Put it in little by little. What you want to achieve is to make sure it gets properly mixed so you don't overwhelm the batter. Okay, so I'm just going to... Put eggs. Yes, let's get one in. Okay, one. and give it a mix. So yes. See you after seven. So we have the eggs in. I'm just going to scrape down the sides. Flour. Okay. And we have flour. Yes, we're going to put that in later. later. Okay, so next stuff we have. Lilla. Very good. What's this? Lilla. Good. Okay, so I've got two tablespoons Lilla. of vanilla going in. I'm just going to give it a quick so, Now we're on to our wet ingredients. I've got 600 grams of all purpose flour. Yeah, all purpose flour. I have such a terrible time today because I always have to make sure I give you guys my absolute best. I got some very dodgy flour yesterday. So you have to always make sure that your flour is of very good quality. Because if your ingredients are not of good quality, it can affect the way your cake would come out. So. I had to go and get proper flour today. I'm not going to call out the names, but this is very good flour. So I've got five teaspoons of baking powder, which I'm going to add in here to the flour. And mix it. Okay, I've got one and a half teaspoons of salt. So we're just going to incorporate this into the dry ingredients and give it all a mix. Okay, so I'm going to put the flour in again in batches so we don't have the plants from putting too much so I'm just going to do this so we're going to do three batches so just give it a quick mix. mix 
A quick what? Mix. Quick mix. Okay. So I'm just going to scrape everything. Now you need to make sure you don't lose all that lovely hair that was incorporated during the mixing. So we're going to be doing more of a folding, folding our colors in. We're going to divide this into six portions of 410 grams. Six portions. So we are going to start with the first one. Stay with me. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to weigh the first portion. And what we're aiming for is 410 grams. As I said, you have to be careful so you don't lose the air in the batter. Okay, so we have our six six bowls of butter. Now comes the fun part where we're going to put the colors in. So, first off, I've got blue here. Now, you don't want to be careful because this thing stains. So, I'm just going to start a bit light with one tablespoon and mix it in. If we need more, we'll add some more. So, I'm just going to give this a quick mix. Okay, second color going in, yellow. All right, going in. It's looking nice and colorful, isn't it? Make sure you fold it in. Fold, fold, fold. Green. Okay, so now we've got four colors in. We've got blue, yellow, red, and green. How do we get purple? Because I couldn't find purple in the shops. I'll show you in a bit. So, it's basically red. I'm sure this reminds you of primary school. <laughs> so we're gonna mix in red and blue to make our purple. Okay. Alright, so we have a mix. Okay, so we need to make orange. So I've put in some yellow. And I'm gonna put in some red, just a bit. So it doesn't overpower the hint of yellow. Give that quick mix. Okay, so we have our six colors. Don't they look absolutely beautiful? They look absolutely gorgeous. So, first, I'm gonna put this blue is gonna go in. So, bye bye, blue. Say bye bye, blue. Bye bye, blue. Good. Okay. And orange. Let's make sure you smooth in the top. Orange. Orange. And purple. Okay, so these are ready to go. Now I'm going to bake this at 190. Um, once I'm going to bake it between 10 to 15 minutes. Again, we can always increase baking time. You just need to make sure you stay close to the oven. Once it goes past the 10 minute mark, you need to just constantly monitor it because these are very fragile cakes for reading. So we'll see you in a bit. Now they're nice and ready. I'm just going to leave them to cool down. Now don't get worried if you find like brown um, flecks on your cake. It's all um, due to your uh, the baking time. It makes the bottom a bit brown. But when you stack them up, it's going to look just like a rainbow. So see you in a bit. But before I go, there is someone I want you to meet. So I told you there was someone I wanted you to meet. He's someone who has become more or less like a family friend. His name is Baba Ibeji. So Baba Ibeji, a car song. Well done. I know you're wondering who Baba Ibeji is. Baba Ibeji is my generator technician. And the reason why he's here today is because I just felt the need to celebrate him. With everything happening in Nigeria today, it's very hard for you to find people who are honest in their hearts. And I've grown to understand and appreciate Baba Ibeji as not just an artisan, but as a, a very honest man who takes pride in his job. Just to celebrate him, we don't have to be kings before we do celebrate the everyday man or take notice or appreciate his handiwork. We also just had a baby. So we want you to show your support he walks within what areas do you walk around? Well, uh, I'm then Jack on the phase two. Phase one. Lekki. Uh -huh. So what just it's mainly Lagos Island. So if you're within the Lagos Island area, which basically is from Obalende, VI, Ikoi, Lekki phase one, 
you know, I'm quite just give him a call and then let him check your whatever problems you have with your generators. With the rate of uh, generator men who charge exorbitant rates to Tifty -tif generator men, to the ones who are just playing lazy or would spoil your gen. Give Baba a really try today and you find him an absolute darling. To so just wait till the end of the video and you find Baba's pages numbers on the screen. And it's hashtag Baba so today. We're gonna go back to the kitchen and we'll see you soon. And celebrate them every once okay, in a while. Okay, so our rainbow cake is gonna be covered in bottle cream, which I've made. If you want to know how to make bottle cream, please refer to one of our earlier videos. So basically it's very tricky. To get them one after the other so hang on with me basically what i've done is i've put a bit of bottle cream on the stand just to make sure it stays firm and doesn't move so i'm going to get the first one which is our purple okay and we're just gonna there you go okay so a bit of butter cream goes on top green Orange is going on next. There we go. Red. Yellow. Now don't worry about the sides being a bit wonky. We're going to get all that once we get the icing done. And we're going to make sure it sets before we have that slice. So don't worry. Finally, we have blue. Okay, so we're just going to get this iced and... It's basically the same icing method, so I'm just going to put it in the fridge to set for a bit and then we'll get back to the icing. Oh, so finally, we have the masterpiece here. Um, so basically you can be as creative as you want, you know, what I just did was allow this to set for about 20 minutes in the, in the freezer. And then I just did the rustic, you know, um, decoration. So what you can do as well, I've got some coloured sugar here. You can just give that a sprinkle just to give it that, you know, extra touch. What you want to create is like um, colored sand, so you can use different colors. So it's time for us to taste it and I've got my friend and sister with me today who I would love for you to meet. It's Dr. Ido, say hi. Hello. Okay, she's actually a, a pediatrician, you know, don't be fooled by the size. So <laughs> okay. anyway, we're going to get this cake. Oh, I can't wait to have a look. Yes, yeah, so let's you do the honors. Oh, thank yeah. you. Let's just lift. Mm. Wow. Look at that. Look at the colors. Look at that. Colors of the rainbow. Mm. 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 My sister, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Mm. Very, it's so yummy. Basically, this is it's so fluffy, very fluffy, very light, and it's not again too sweet. You don't even taste the fact that it's got food coloring, it's just absolute. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And please, would like to have your pictures, you know, inspire yourself and try this cake out. and Let's see how you get on. You do it, you have a great week ahead, and get baking. Get baking. Bye. Bye.